sh- shifting gears <laughs> a little bit. I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my little Ooh. notebook of like things I noticed this week. There's a lot of. Uh, I, I found a guy who died in Florida in a really shitty way. Uh, I guess pun intended. Um, so this guy <laughs> worked in a landfill. Okay, already like, just imagine this guy's life up until this point. Terrible. This sounds young, sounds awful. This it's young man's insane. job is working in a Florida landfill. Um, it's and probably hot. Probably even now in March, it's hot as fucking balls. Well, he was out there and he had to take a shit. And uh, luckily for him, there was a porta potty. So he, he's, he hops in the porta potty and starts taking his no. shit. And uh, along comes his buddy in a bulldozer. And uh, because he was heading like up, up a hill, you know, the front of the boat bulldozer obscured his view and he didn't realize that he was driving right over a oh. porta potty. And so a bulldozer uh, makes. It, well, it, it's just no match. It uh, makes short work of you. Yeah. Short work of a of a porta potty and a man inside of it. That plastic just bends to its will because it's thousands of pounds, oh. and uh, and so it just mushed him inside the porta potty. And what was inside must have been just a, a horrific scene. How did they separate him from everyone else's shit from that day? It'd and be impossible. He has his own shit in there too. Impossible. There would be a mixture of man, porta potty, and shit. If that happened to me, just bury me whole. Just bury try- me in the porta potty. <laughs> you back the bulldozer up and start piling dirt on top. Just leave me there. I don't look at what's in there. Don't open that door. That's if, not if, being my uh, best. That's I would not haunt. My best. I would haunt the shit look, out of that guy. I wouldn't want you to open that door if I was just taking a shit. I don't want you to see that. You don't no, need to see that. You don't no have that. to see that. I certainly don't want you to see me if I've been crushed while taking his shit. <laughs> it's oh. so awful. Uh, and and I it's all your, about, all your all your viscera mixed with the poo. The poo and the landfill. Yeah. It's well, that's like a, you know, for a, this is the best place for it to happen. It's the worst place for it to happen. A landfill? You just kind of kind of move it. Right? You just kind of push him Push them a well, little further. Make a uh, mistake you, further into the landfill. I sound like you got to hose the area down. I suppose if that was your concern, there's no like cleanup per se. Well, I was uh, meaning if it happened like on a busy street. Oh, that would be worse. At least it was landfill. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, that poor guy working a shitty job. He's already thinking, God, I fucking hate shitting in porta potties. This is the worst part of my day. But he didn't yeah. know. Dude, what if he was taking a piss? Oh. That would be even more tragic, just like a a thirty five second window of death. What if what if what if he he had been like pissing behind some barrels, but they had been giving him shit about it? They're like going, and he's like, dude, it's just us dudes out here. Who cares? He's like, we're gonna get written up if that lady comes down again. And so like he's pissing in there because they hired Marge to like oversee the trash <laughs> men because someone said there's no lady trash man. What about that? So they made like the head trash man for the region making six figures a lady. So now all mm-hmm. these poor trash men that work all their this is a made up scenario. None of this is true. But they're, they're you know they were working under their under her heel under oh, her. You're boot, selling me, man. Under her boot and and like poor Larry having to go in there and piss in that hot porta potty where it smells instead of behind the barrel like he's been doing for 27 years now, three years away from his his his, his big pension. retirement his pension. Yeah, and yeah. And, and and daughter and dirt, just graduated from college. And and that new and that young little um that white um trans girl that they hired recently um with the with the fox ears mm-hmm. to, to bull she's driving the bulldozer. Oh no! And, uh, yeah, she's her and, her vision's obscured by the fox ears. Well, she has to sit kind of funny because of the butt plug, so she couldn't see over the front. <laughs> the she could, she's got the tail. She's got the fox tail in S- sitting that, on her chair with like like her ass. It's part of her identity. Yeah, here. it's part of her identity. So she has <laughs> she's allowed to wear it there at the you know at the job, and but but she, it, it it prevents her from seeing her at the top. So now, three years away from his pension, um, the 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 fox boy has has smushed him. You know, while he's just taking a leak in there because everybody was. Meanwhile, butt plug hanging out. You know, all day nobody says a peep because it's part of that person's identity. He should have made pissing behind barrels part of his identity. He should have identified as a dog man, hiked his leg. He'd still be alive. He would be. He'd look silly, but it'd be worth it. 
And you know, tell you what, what you know, he looks real what silly. What looks now. silly is when you get smashed into a poo capsule <laughs> by your friend in a bulldozer. I bet it, but it looks like if you took a Lego and squished a frog with it. <laughs> and then, oh, and then like, like I can imagine, like the guy drives over it. Do you think immediately he's like, I pray there was no one in there, or do you think you can oh, like God, see yeah. the amount of? Like popping a gusher. Remember when you used to like so, suck on a gusher until the the thin walls and then it would pop in your mouth, like that. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I th- he would Gushers definitely know he was rated. hitting it unless he was in a huge piece of machinery, like just the the little crumpling noises and the, like there's a little bit of a bump no matter what it is. Like, like you yeah. know, like I've driven big dozers and big like tracos and stuff, but like you know if it's got tires. That fucking um, but, sucks. But on tracks, it's like, I don't know. I, I I like to imagine that like the guy died quickly, but there's no way he did. He died in over the course of like four or five seconds of sheer terror. He died the way he lived, shitty, <laughs> terrified, and amongst filth. Yeah, Ugh. I hate like stories like that are like deaths that don't mean anything and that are totally avoidable. Like accidents like that are so sad, where it's just like. You're, you're like someone's life like they had thoughts and feelings and aspirations and ideas and it's just I mean, like well, oh, calm down. accident for two seconds gone i mean calm down he was a garbage man Let's, he had ideas about how to no, collect no. he had ideas about how to collect the garbage how to dispose of the garbage how to move the garbage Let's not act like they had Leonardo da Vinci and the shitter out at the Route 30 dump, okay? <laughs> well, who knows? We've all seen films about the, the genius janitor 